All right, welcome back, mercenaries, to some more Stone Shard. In the previous episode, we had a relatively good run, I think. Yes. Or, oh, and we had this new unidentified axe, which can surely only be better than the bearded axe. I've never seen this axe template before, so exciting. And let's see. We found Combat Master Retreat is 4, which is amazing. Assuming we can find the intermediate... Uh, one that deals with treatise three. The third treatise level. Did I drop my water? No, no, no. What am I saying? It's here. Okay, uh, and drink more. And eat stuff. Alright, we're good. Let's go and do some good old town management. The the gloves here, let's just put that in right now here. Uh, the gloves, male gloves, no matter what, I think these are for later when I have my energy situation under control. Uh, they, the Spin Van Braces also has an enchantment that boosts my energy, right? So they are for later. Uh, with that out of the way, let's go out. Oh, oh. I, I meant to bring a purse because I think we might need it. But it's fine. Do we start by the smithy? No, let's start by... Let's start with the town elder. We will need the purse, so... Oh, okay. Well, I uh, clicked already. Did, was that the amulet? Yes, I just clicked. So here I'm finally punished for my too fast clicking. We are now rid of that amulet. Too bad. You know what, I'm gonna go and pick up a purse. And that means I'm stinking rich, because we finally turned in the quest reward. And we can also take out our other necklace in here. Uh, I did have another purse, indeed. There. Good. So... That's not the end of the world. The Fang Amulet was really good for us. This one... Also comes in with energy and energy restoration, but I believe a little bit less than the other one had. And the other one also came in with other benefits that the new amulet does not give us. It comes in with magic power on it, and I was thinking about learning that uh, fire barrage skill. Alright, anyway. All in due time. Oh, we gotta save the iron ingots. Do you take incremental payment in ingots? That's one thing I was thinking about. Uh, bring me iron. Yeah, no, okay, so he, he, we need to find five iron ingots in one go to satisfy him. Let's go and buy some identification scrolls. Plural? Are we bringing plural? I don't know. One. Oh, and I should grab stuff out of my backpack now. Question is whether I identify the sword as well. Let's start with the axe. Use. Boom. Steady boarding axe. Okay, only 26. That's not as high as I had hoped. It comes in with more armor penetration, less body part damage. That's bad. Oh. Then comes it with. Oh, it gives us block chance. That's really nice. And lowest fumble chance, which is not I ideal at all. And. Okay, better, uh, less ed skills energy cost. With block power plus 14. Wow, from the enchantment. That's interesting. I don't think that it's necessarily better than the boarding axe. Sorry, the, the bearded axe. Look at that. The bearded axe comes in with 2% bleed chance and 3% crit chance, which is really important against the troll, those two specific things, where the bubble chance is not that important for us. Body part damage I would also want higher against the troll, so again, not as good. Skills energy cost is really important right now, and block power can work against everything else in the game, also against the troll, but I think I'll use it for now. It also looks freaking cool, but we will save the bearded axe for the troll. I think this one is just better against the troll, assuming it is enchanted also. And, and, and we hopefully we hit a point where uh, skills energy cost doesn't matter, where we have enough energy. But until then, 
the steady boarding X is gonna well, steady us on. Let's just identify the other one. I'm feeling frisky. So we get another identification scroll. That was a acidic guild blade. Okay, not bad. Caustic damage was one. Yeah, we are not getting being lucky with our other weapon enchant. I mean, this is I think this is the first weapon enchant we've gotten. So, all right. No complaints. That was a decent enough axe to find. It wasn't as good as I had hoped, but it's fine. So, sell the guild blade. Sell the spiked flavor. Well, no, you know what? I was thinking for a second here, if we are going to a skeleton dungeon, maybe I would keep the spiked flavor, but really, with all of our axe focus, that's not viable at all. Let's get rid of it. Swiss casket is sold for 400 here as well. What the f Let's have a look at axes over here. You see, there's a lot of... Oh, okay, the boarding axe is, is right here, in fact. Oh, I gotta repair our current one here. Oh, okay. 1,200 gold, by the way. Okay, that was expensive. 300 for the boots. 3 for the belt. 122 for the helmet. Rings also cost a little. Alright, that was pretty expensive. Oh, we've got war weapons for him. Good enough. Well, wow. Sergeant Brigantine. Oof. Is that the highest tier armor we've seen? I think I have seen like a full plate thing at some point, but okay. This is right now the best thing he has in store. Ooh, look at that energy reduction there. So, I mean, at some point it would be nice, but we really, the next few levels will be uh, at least skill points, attribute points will be spent on reducing energy costs for everything. And I think next level, I have been, I have decided that I will go for willpower. There's several reasons why. Magic resistance, we just saw Ma Matis almost kill me in the previous episode, so magic resistance would be nice. We are also dealing with a lot of pain, and this one gives us pain with this resistance. Fortitude will lower debuffs. How much fortitude are we at? 18%. Alright, so if a, a troll stuns me for three turns, I don't think Fortitude 18 will reduce it by anything. But if you had it at like 40, let's get let's say 40 flat, then I think uh, if, if a troll stunned you for four, three turns, you would only be stunned for two, which would be uh, quite nice. So, I mean, racing it more cannot hurt. Abilities energy cost is a percentage reduction on our very expensive um, skills and, and stuff, so I think that will be worth a whole lot, and then cooldown durations can never hurt. Even if we can't spend energy, at least having the skills online as much as possible never hurts, so then when we do have the energy, we can at least also spend it. I hope I am making sense. Let me sure to make sure that I have read these treatises before I sell them, indeed. He cannot afford the last one. Do we have Combat Mastery Treatise 3 in here? Alright. Combat Mastery... Yeah, we still need that one. But then, I really need to find the second one if I buy that one. What does it cost? Everything. Uh, ooh. <laughs> okay. I was just quoting the Infinity War because I just... Or Endgame because I just saw it. No, that was Infinity War, never mind. But it literally costs everything I own. Uh, the Combat Mastery Tweet is 3 here. Athletics 2, Dew 1, Mazes 1. But I think I would do it. What level are we? Are I only level 6? I feel like I'm so powerful. What are we planning to get? We don't actually need shields too. It would be nice to go for retaliation. This was supposed to carry me through the early game, but we are nowhere near that. And maybe we are not even going... I have put one point into shields. Look at that. I don't even need to... Maybe I don't need to use the shield against the troll. I could just go with two axes against the troll for maximum damage. Ah, would that be good? Wouldn't that be interesting? 
So just focus on access and combat mastery at that point. Then I think, I mean, if I could get the stance training and then thirst for battle is the one I'm thinking of in here. That's probably three to, three to get this one anyway. Oh, we could see that in here. Yeah, thirst for battle. So if I ever want that skill, I need to buy it at some point. It is done. Read it. And then we can also sell the Jesus 4. Gives us 900 gold. This one gives 400 gold. Okay, they are worth bringing back those two. Then... Backpack. I don't think I have anything in there. No. Okay. So that leaves me with still 1800 gold after the whole, that whole ordeal. Carpenter buys the shield. And then we have done the things that we needed to do. We need to repair here. And probably have... Do we have any cloth items remaining? Oh, but both my armor and the splint van braces are still considered cloth. So let's go and fix those up as well. We need lockpicks. Where are we going at this point? I would prefer to do quests here in Manshire if they are still available. Uh, the, the quest in Osburg did uh, reshuffle at some point while I was in. Yeah, no contracts here. Okay, and we need gold. So I will be going to Osburg. Oh, one other thing that we could do. Oh, I don't have a map. <laughs> uh, what are you selling? Buy me. Okay, sell me a map. Go and check for points of interest all the way, like, maybe... See, the thing is, if I go to Osburg by foot, then I need to go to Manchire by foot again at some point. But maybe I can go to, like, the long route here. Also check the Abbey of the Holy Revelation, like this route. And then end up in Osburg. And then on the other way, we would go then from Osburg down this way to cover the other points of interest. Or I could do it in reverse, come up this way, stop by Outpost Rabbit Ward on the way. Because, yeah, that may make sense. Plan the route through here, do Outpost Rabbit Ward, then the point of interest, and then come up to Osburg. And then when we are go going the other way, we come up this way, and maybe even do the old crypt on the way like that. So the southern route now, which means this point of interest first. Yes. Oh, before I do a long trip like that, I do need to buy food and stuff. Medical supplies. No, never Let me check my leaving town checklist. Buy the potatoes because they're cheap. Do they not sell meat here in the town? No. Medical supplies. And we will also go and rest in the tavern before we leave. Maybe even buy a bandage now. We are fresh out of healing cells, so buy new, another new four. Yeah. That's good enough. I drank a whole lot of vivifying essence in the previous episode. We brought to like three bottles at one point and now we're back down to one. So, I mean, we are also only level six. We're almost level seven. Very nice. By the meat. Leaving star checklist. Water skin refill has been done. Repair, arrows, no food. Uh, check. Buy some bread. Medical supplies, lockpicks, prayer, and sleep. So go first we sleep. Then we pray. And then we go. Let me check the chest here and see if I'm missing anything. We need to put back the purse. But then I don't think... Oh, we don't have anything to deal with pain right now. Let's get another ether inhaler out. Oh, I had healing cells in here. Of course. But this is fine. Sleep for... We tried 8 hours. Now let's try 9 hours. So 14 plus 9 is 23. I'll go until midnight. So we can save time. Yeah, then Vigorous is up at 900. Then... Eat the bread. Oh, I should have cooked my potatoes before I went to sleep. Let's go down and cook them now. It'll take a bit of our vigorous buff, but it's fine. Go 
Good. We're doing it well. So passing by the church anyway. Then pray at the altar. And on we go. The host be praised. Food already. Thirsty again. Okay. Such a glutton, Anna. It must be pretty exhausting. It would be cool if uh, if you needed to drink more water for wearing all this armor. Not sure how that would work out. Like, oh, 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 okay. Huh. Well, we are in a fight. It doesn't matter all that much. I was just was shocked. Uh, defend. Then seize the initiative on that guy. Relating launch on him. He is moderately injured, so let's cut through. Down he goes, we level up. Let's do it after the fight. Kill the doggo. It attacked me. What can I say? I didn't want to kill the dog, but it, they forced my hand. More are coming. Oh, three lockpicks. Oh, oh, what did I? Let's quit. Use the initiative. All right, and let's level up. I'm, I seriously think just two, two points in willpower. Let me see how much I get out of that, out of one willpower. Uh, do, 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 do. Cooldown duration uh, reduction. And the other thing is spell skills energy cost and spells energy cost. Oh, okay. We need uh, this is abilities energy cost. Okay, that's the one we're talking about. Cooldowns duration is at 70 and skills energy is at 113. So buy one of those. It's 1% off of each. That was not as much as I had thought. It's like one energy off of each ability at best. Okay. One willpower. Cooldown's duration went from 60, uh, 70 to 69. Maybe the energy restoration and since vitality since we off of defensive tactic get percentage based energy back i would think that then vitality gives us more value than willpower in terms of just the pure energy gain and cost so i will go for that it increases my energy by three Five. Oh, five? Oh, that's way more than I thought. All right. Skills. We could go for access. I got Pyromancy 1, and I did talk about maybe like being a, uh, a, a holy paladin type armor, which we burn, in which we burn the, our enemies with holy fire. I actually think that would be really, really good, and also against the troll. So maybe that is what I get right now. Even though, I mean, the the axe skills are really cool and tempting. None of them are like super impactful. The execution, yes, it doesn't, but it doesn't work in 1v1s. It doesn't work against the troll. Uh, it does work against the troll. Performs a strike with 2% damage for each missing percent of an enemy's health. Okay, it is really good. Hmm. Yeah, it is pretty damn good. All right, I've never had that one before. I'm getting the execution. We might get a fire spell next level then. So right now we are here just to not lose track. Let's go one more diagonal and then we can go all the way just west. Oh, oh, oh. Ha! Ah, look at what we found. Two bison, and they are now officially awake. And you know what? 
This is the time, folks. They are not aggressive. So I stand... Oh, I need to rest up. Can't rest enemies are nearby. Alright. Go away from them, then. Rest up. And then we will try <laughs> to kill two bison. This might be how we end the run, but I seriously doubt that they can kill me. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I brought the bearded axe. It's fine. Put in some stuff here. Oh, and I brought the iron ingot. Hmm. All right. So, not super diligent. And one cloak, we weren't supposed to bring that either, I think. We can still make it back to Manshire. I think I will go back with those things. Come up here. Massacre and say, hey you, wake up! Yeah, so 40 is like, it's 8% of its health. Damn. But they should not do a whole lot of damage to me, like if, if, if at all. We managed to get an injury on him early on. Bleeding, bleeding, not an injury, okay. Then when we have two of them next to us, we get good value out of our block, so I'll put that up. Then keep hitting until we get really launch up again. And he loses 14 health to bleeding here for one stack of bleeding. Yeah, it does percentage damage on them, I suppose. Yeah, so that's why it's also really good against the troll, of course. Lock up again, which just restores my energy real quick, so that's quite nice. Have we still seized the initiative on him? We have. Alright. Any injuries? No. Middle lane lunge again. Now it's injured, so then break through. Or cut through. Shield up again. This one also is bleeding now. Keep middle lane lunging it. Cut through. Oh, it died. Okay. Oh, I need to remember to use the execution then. So seize the initiative on him. Shield up, sure. Uh, let's remember to use the execution. It costs what twenty four? It's pretty pretty expensive. Yeah, I didn't. I was looking at it, and it didn't come online until I killed them I, I already. So never mind. Let's go back to the town right after this. Bison horns. Someone was looking for horns, but that wasn't bison horn, that was moose or... Uh, that was antlers, specifically, yeah. A bison pelt is too big. Okay. I will make room. Yeah. Alright, let's go back. It's gonna be a long episode again. It's fine. No more dilly-dallying after this, I just wanted to kill some bison. Avenge. Jonna. Jonna was the one that died to the bison. The mage build. So what are we doing here? We are gonna rest again and pray again, all the things, and we can put some stuff into our tavern chest, which I forgot before. Out of the reason for coming back. Let's go and cook, or I go to bed. And we have plenty of food. We might even sell some food here. Ah, it's not worth a whole lot. So, chest, which is full, but we can start filling into this one here. I'm in good. And if you get an axe, good sleep. Now we just sleep. It's a midday. All right. Drink the food. I don't know who wants a bison pelt. Probably. Oh, we have the, the tailor guy ish down here. 
it must be you. 188. Pretty good. I feel like I forgot some other things. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. We don't need to repair right now. A little water skin, drink. Can we pray again already, or how does that work? Yes. I already have the host's blessing. Oh, uh, no. Now it deleted it. If I had it. Okay, now we can't. It's fine. Don't overthink it. Let's deliver the bison horn. Uh, I'm just going to try to see... Now, I thought this guy was the one who wanted the horns. Let me just check real quick. Teaching the smith's request. Merchant, find moose or deer antlers. Right. What are you selling? Buy the horns from me then. And off we go. Let's try to get something done this episode other than getting revenge on the bison was important. For sure. So now we, it's going to be like a bit of a farming episode. Beyond that, of course, we'll be exploring the points of interest. That's always interesting. <laughs> Not, no pun intended, but of course it, it, there's a pun in there every time. I'll try to run through it a little bit faster instead of getting sidetracked by all the herbs and animals. Okay, three henbanes in a row here. Can't say no to that. Grab it. And so with that bleeding, we are going to be doing really good work against the troll. Oh, more henbane? Okay. I mean, I'll pick it up. Now I lost track of where we are, kind of, but I think it's just due west from here. Well, I shouldn't get lost if we can avoid it. This indicates how far west we've gone. Yeah, and if we, yeah, so if we end up in Steppe again soon, then we are too far south. Bear trap is spotted. Not a problem. Moose or deer antlers are what, what we are looking for. There's probably, there's more of these, uh, new quests in Osbrook, so we'll be picking them up when we arrive there again. I don't know what they're all about. Here's some more. I guess we're just looking for XP, so this is really what we want. It's fine. Massacre. I'm gonna jump the mage, because he's the worst one. Execution. Get him murdered. Oh, bison, look at that. More. Uh, you don't want to fight? Oh, he was unaware of me for some reason. These bison we will leave alone. Although taking three bison at once. Oh, you know, we are in open step again, which means we are here and we need to go one north to arrive at the either the latitude or the longitude. I, I've, I've never really gotten good at that. I know if, maybe I can translate it in my mind and then figure it out. No, no, not even in danger. I forget which one is which. One of them is the... Hmm. God damn it. Oh, here's the deer. I don't think we can catch it, but I'll try. Yeah, it, we won't. Okay, keep going. Now it's bothering me that I don't know latitude from longitude. But it's fine. I don't have to know everything. Not knowing is half the battle.
Now we are at a quest, sorry, a point of interest site. And here we go. It's just a few bandits. Get some murder up. Splat, splat, splat. Run for the archer. The other guy will follow us. probably execute him. Yes, and if we do, we get a lot of energy back. Kill him. Good. Reinforce club. Ah, it's barely worth it. Put in the hand vein here, another healing self. Like that. Barrels over here can be checked. Nothing. The chest. Oh, the chest, of course. With the elven ice wine again. Okay. Uh, let's see. Drink. Then uh, we are gonna sleep here, I think. Just for a few hours. There will be more rest spots along the way. So, we, of course, we gotta make sure we don't run out of water. Now I want to go for this point of interest, so one diagonal southwest. That and then all south. More guys. Murder! Oh. Shield up. Execute. 174. I think that's a new personal record. Alright, and there's a bit of a cut in here for you guys. So, I'm, I made a, a, a total, total new mistake at some point during this episode, and I just, I must have hit my, uh, what's it called, stop recording button. And so, it happened in the middle of the forest or field over here right before we got to this ruined manor which was the point of interest down here and right now I'm over by this camp where I saved. So I was actually in the middle of this dungeon when I checked how far we were into the episode and realized that we were not recording anymore. So this is the latest save I have and therefore we are coming back here. Uh, I just all that fought out so then you end up back in the camp here and let me see we found in that Ruined Manor, which is where there's that scripted event with the bandits. So you go down into like a, a little house, a ruined house, and then there's like uh, some a chest that you can loot. I don't think we found any in particular, but there's this black boar head which hangs on a wall in there. And th that's one of the things that I have read that you need for a uh, one of the new quests in town. So I picked that up and then I came over here, cleared this little area and then we are going up to Outpost Rabbit Ward. So I'm not sure really why. I mean, that's... I know, I know how and why, but I, I can't imagine how I hit that button. Because it's uh, it, it, I have my start recording on F8 and my stop recording on, on F9. Buttons that I never use for anything. And that therefore, for those particular reasons, they they get the those assigned and somehow... I hit that. So yeah, I'm sorry guys. It's a kind of a new mistake, my new recording. But here we go. So back to our post rabbit war. We're just gonna try to speed run it. Well we were in the middle of middle of trying to just run through the dungeon as fast as possible because they aren't really a challenge. This is still kind of a challenge sorry not not a challenge, not a uh, farming episode more than anything. And so hopefully you guys will bear with me and next episode should be a little bit more interesting where we are trying to gonna, we're gonna be trying to go through another dungeon, uh, the this chapel over here of the guiding star in the same like instead of doing one v ones in this dungeon at least we are just gonna burst into rooms and murder everything in sight. And so we'll continue to do that here.
So they don't really pose a threat to us anymore. These guys. Oh, this one doesn't respawn right now. I knew that. And down we go into the dungeon. Again. I was only on the first floor. So it's fine. Okay, and don't forget to check for traps. Even though we are ahead of the curve here. I did step on a trap. <laughs> but we don't take a lot of damage from traps, so it doesn't matter. And I didn't even get an injury from it. But it is silly not to to not check the traps. I mean, uh, getting overconfident, I suppose, is natural. Oh, look at that! We found Tweedus. Tweedus, Tweedus, true. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Now I forget what I have talked about and what I haven't. But I'm pretty sure I have talked about the fact that we don't really need Tweedus two anymore. Well, it, the the question we gotta ask is: it gonna be worth it against the? The troll, right? Everything I skill into at this point should be troll focused. And so I'm not so sure that it is. We have, I have and I've equipped weapons in the offhand here for smashing crates and barrels, by the way. That's, I think that's also after the, what do what, what you call it? Like the recording mishap. Fun stuff. Oh, we find a jug of milk, which is interesting, because the jug of milk specifically is really good for killing the troll, because it gives you crushing resistance and it stacks, so you can get up to like, I mean, assuming you bring 30 of them, you can get, what, 60% crushing resistance, and then if you drink it for 30 turns, then you will only have the first part of the buff for the next 30 turns, but... I, get, I think you guys get my point here. That's a, a strategy that I saw someone employ against the troll, and it's kind of cool. But we don't, we don't, I mean, I'll pick it up, but we don't need to pick up this one here. We can just buy it later. Oh, what's this? A pretzel. Hmm. I actually don't like pretzels in real life. Not that much. There's not my. I don't know why. Oh, we shouldn't lockpick here. Ah, we have so many lockpicks. Doesn't matter. Alright. Does not matter. And now I'm calling. It's been a long, long time since I did a new mistake like that, and it's embarrassing every time it happens. And there's no way to salvage it other than I'm gonna have to go in and then edit my stone shard videos, edit these two together. It sucks, but I mean I can do it. It just takes a lot of time, and it's gotta render and all the things. Yeah. A hassle. That's what it is. Yeah, I mean, nah, it doesn't matter. We didn't really lose anything other than I lose time. You guys don't really lose anything. You guys lose the continuity of the run, which is bad enough in itself. I want to bring you guys high quality content and not this beginner mistake. Riddled. Yeah, that's fine. Don't dwell on it, move on. So let's bash some barrels and loot some stuff. If this is a dead end, otherwise I wouldn't do it, but we don't want to come back this way. In fact, I'll do that. At least we didn't find anything interesting before, so hopefully we'll find something interesting now. I mean, we got the Shears Treaters too, that's interesting. You guys missed the scripted event at the Ruined Manor, but really that's... We've seen it before and it was exactly the same, so nothing new there. I suppose you, I didn't, didn't get to show you guys where you find the Black Boar, but it's in that Ruined Manor. Uh, on the wall in the final room, if that makes sense. Oh, we'll find it again in another run. Oh, look at that. Okay. Here is a fun fight. Let's try to murder them all at the same time. Because I'm pretty sure we can do that. Okay, so this guy is blocking for his friends. I'm tempted to just go over and help them <laughs> by killing him. Uh, sure. Let's try it. 
Pretty sure we can get away with it. Giving the game some freebies now that I messed up. Alright. So then, let's kill this guy first. He doesn't have a shield. Can't you... Huh, this guy doesn't realize that he can come up here to hit me. Interesting. Uh, let's put up the shield. I think we can execute on you now. Oh, we don't have to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Maybe we can execute you already? Yes. Ah, and the other one died from bleeding. The same action. Alright. Seize the initiative on the next guy. And there you go. Flatbread. So yeah, we are definitely ahead of the curve for this dungeon, which makes sense, it's only the second dungeon in the game. We are not going to be doing the first dungeon, like the level 1 dungeon, that is not going to be worth our time. But we'll, next episode we'll do the vampire dungeon, that should be at least a little bit interesting, they are tougher. And I now I forget how we handle the the boss in that dungeon in this run. I remember in the Yorkrim run, I could barely even kill him, right? Even when I had him on a trap. So, I'm interested to see how we do against him now. And there might be a new one. There's a new boss in that type of dungeon now. So that could be cool if, if we find him. Or one of them. I don't know how many new there are. Mind Ward. I don't know how we're doing on Sanity and Morale. Sanity is pretty low, because when I eat the henbane, I suppose, we lose sanity. Uh, oh! Wait, oh, there's a door down here, it's like... Yeah, every time I think, wait, is this a closed dungeon without a boss? Then of course it's because I missed a door somewhere. This is never, it's never the case, so... It doesn't happen. Oh, uh, an iron ingot. That is important for that quest. So let's get that. And yeah. I don't think any of this is worth picking up. Not really. What do we have in the backpack? Also a henbane. Okay, we, we definitely have enough of the henbane. I might, oh well, man. So I was gonna use one before the boss, but now I'm thinking that if my sanity is getting low, then maybe I don't wanna. Oh, oh, and the, the, um, the mages are interesting, right? Because, well, these are low tier mages, so he won't be able to kill me for sure. But I'm interested to see how much damage they do now. Okay, I've got another guy, gonna have to run at him. Sometimes you can jump at them when they're like around a corner like that, and sometimes you can't. The mutating lading lunge. I'm not sure what determines that. It's pretty inconsistent. There it worked. Can we execute you just after that? Let's try. Oh, we can. Oh, wow. Oh, we find a trap. All right. Careful here. Yes. Good, eye. Good eyes, Jonah. No. Ah. Called her the wrong name again. Every time. Anna. That's always embarrassing when you call your woman the wrong name. Whoops. At least this one can't dump me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually done that, if you were wondering. With a real woman. Ah, uh, no, wait. I think I did once. Yeah, so I was a little bit quick on the door there. I'm pretty sure I have actually <laughs> done that at least once in my life, which is not something to be proud of, but I want to be honest here. Uh, leather Vest, Pyromantic Treatise 2 is, I think, worth some money. Pilgrim's Again? Oh, here. I thought we were... In a dead end there. And we were, but I thought we were 
approaching the boss chamber. And there was another exit again. Need all this stuff. Get the crowns. Where's the trap? That was down here, right? I think we will pick up the identification scroll. It costs like 70 goldish, so that is worth some money. Another mage. Now we're finding all sorts of mages here. Oh. That was a misclick, but it's fine. He came to me. Another pyromantic tree is two. And a healer staff, horse tail. Ah, not worth picking up. Okay, so don't forget to check for traps. Maze tree is two. We didn't have that. Okay. The weapon treatises are not worth as much as the magic treatises. We won't bring that back. And this is the boss chamber. Okay, so let's, let's rest up for this one just in case. Uh, and I don't think we will eat a henbane. It shouldn't be that much of a problem. It's the, it's always the rogue step is that guy, I think. So, oh, we, hmm. We have plenty of lockpicks as far as I recall. So I wanna start the fight with my right weapon out. Get the stances up and running. And uh, do we even jump him with the mutilating lunge? Sure. Seize the initiative. Oh, and then we can't afford the execution. I, I was thinking we could probably, yeah, we could execute him right now. He's got an injury, so I'll do the cut through. And boom. Uh huh. And then. If I what? Oh, I thought that was an enchantment scroll. Damn. Oh, and an alchemy apparatus. That'll be the quest item. So we gotta bring that back. Now we gotta drop something. A splint. And the milk. So the alchemy apparatus. Oh, and dear Atlas. Oh, that's what we need for that quest. Right. Moose and Dia and that's one pair of each. Right, 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 yeah. Okay. Doesn't help that we just have the one. Unidentified dagger. Ah, it's broken. I just wanted to see what kind of dagger it was. Um, up to three iron ingots here. The identification scroll. Uh, the books will sell for more than that's worth. The Elven Ice Swine should too. I don't think it's worth picking up the identification scroll. It's not worth that much. I mean, it's not that expensive, so we can just buy a new one. Uh, the weapons that we have, can we find something immediately better? No. Okay, oh, still got crates and bells to smash here. Bryn Vermouth. I don't think that's worth bringing either. A carp. Let's eat the fat bird. Pick up the carp. And psycho horns. Nah. Let's see. There's some crates and bells here that needs to be smashing. Rounds. I feel like there was a trap on this floor that I have forgotten about, so I'm keeping an eye out. Alright. Yeah, pretty quick. Oh, if I was going to check how long the episode is, but of course I can't now that it has been cut in half. Uh, deer antlers again. Ah, okay. We need moose antlers now, which I don't think you ever find moose antlers in drops, right? So, I gotta find and hunt a moose if I ever want to complete that quest. Interestingly enough, so and that's really hard when I don't have a proper ranged weapon. We, I, we, we did do a successful like hunting thing at at one point with the mutilating lunch, which you can use it for. But moose are already rare, and that it's difficult to set that particular um, type of hunt up. You need to be in get into range two of an, a moose, then, and then you can mutilate and lunge it, and then effectively it can never escape you. 
because you keep mutilating and launching it every time it breaks away from you. Let's kill these wolves. I'm sure we can. Should be out outclassing them by quite a bit here. Can we execute one of them? Oh, that's maybe a little bit too early. Well, so I read that before I lost the recording then. So uh, each injury affecting the target empowers the, stri uh, the strike with extra crit chance and crit efficiency and each bleeding also empowers it with more crit chance. So it's freaking the really freaking damn good is what I'm trying to say. So then I hit it one more time with the middle lane lunge and then we will execute it. And it pays for itself in energy when I do that. But it only does that when you kill, which is why it's not going to be super good against the troll, but it will do a uh, boatload of damage to the troll. And for that reason, I think it was worth grabbing, right? That's what I'm thinking anyway. And are we in the town now? Am I lost? Oh, more wolves. Okay. Are we... Yeah, we need we were not entirely rested up, but it's fine. Alright, let's keep killing. We're still just trying to farm XP. So, all of this is fine. More fighting. We don't want to pick all that meat up. It's fine. Uh -huh. But I thought this would be the town tile. Okay, so here's a road. Which means that we are either here, here, or here. Okay, let's follow the road west, then... I think this is the town tile. No. But surely we are not here yet. We might be on this forest with the road, but I think we might be here. Oh, Jesus. It's been a while. Huh? And that was a really close one. That's the closest we've ever been to being directly struck by a lightning. I don't... <laughs> I, again, I don't think that you can die to the lightning. It's just pretty scary. It's the word I would use. It's pretty scary. No lie. Murder some more brigands. One hit, and then can we execute you after that? Let's try. Haha, <laughs> we can. One hit, and then we can execute them. He also had bleeding and injury, so yeah. Crazy. I mean, it's really good for group fights because of that, right? Uh, that's a deer, not a moose. And it, it doesn't have antlers anyway, so it doesn't matter. This must be the town then. It is not. It's the mill. Okay, but then at least I know where we are. This is the mill, right? Oh, let's see if he has one of the new quests. What are you saying? No. Nah. Nope. Okay. So I, I know that this... Okay, wow. Lightning, come on. Like, that's... Uh, what What's it called? Like, unlikely that you get almost hit by lightning three times in a row. No, uh, what I was trying to say, the, the, the black boar head, I'm pretty sure, as far as I understood, that's for a quest in this town. Though I don't know who... This guy we needed to talk to, I would recall that directly. Do you have any work for me? Bring me a... A brandy bottle, indeed. I finished your task. Take this drink. We get a fang amulet. Oh no, that's not the one we also had before. Alright, but this one's nice. Is it though? It doesn't deal with energy at all, which is what we need. If the sapphire pen, if we ever get to a point where energy is fixed for us, then we can switch it to the fang amulet. That would be better against the troll then. But as long as we have energy issues, we don't want to let go of the sapphire pendant. I think, is everything a little bit gray scaled? Or is that just me? Huh. Anyway, I'm going to do the tower management here. Oh, don't sell the iron and guess, silver nugget though. Weapons repair. And I don't remember if I left the two iron ingots in Manshire, or maybe I forgot to drop them, and that's why we're up to three here. Uh, yeah. I don't remember. 
Let's go and check for treatises. We still are looking for... Uh, oh no! Uh, look at that. The, uh, the town merchant is gone and he is in the level 1 dungeon then. And I don't want to go to the one level 1 dungeon. So I'm not sure... Maybe I just should. Okay, now everything is uh, accurately colored in here. So it is because it's raining outside that everything is like in a grayscale. I thought maybe my screen was... Something was up with my screen or something, but no, it's intentional. Okay. I don't want to go to that dungeon. But I think we do need that town merchant. Put the tre uh, treatises in here. Anything else for him? I guess we will store the black boar head. And the antlers here. I'll try to remember it. Uh, go in here. Taylor, do you have any work for me? You do. Uh, wait, what did he want? A pelt? A bear, a bear pelt. Oh, we haven't killed a bear yet in this run, so I think we could. I think we could if we found one. So yeah, okay. Now we have an incentive to fight a bear, uh, not sort a bear. All right. Huh. Um. Could we fight a bear? Is what I'm wondering. The thing is, I don't have any escapes, right? So if we find a bear, then it's like a final thing. Well, I think we could do it. I think we could take a bear. No quest for the carpenter. And then we will go to the herbalist. Buy new splints. I think we have one in the backpack too. Did, did you have any work for me? Yes, you do. Pick some fresh herbs. Oh, okay. Just some the basic herbs. Okay. Wait. Hold up. He needs acrimony, flea ward, flea ward. Never heard of that one before. Thyme, spearmint, and one tuft of each. I was wondering, does he sell any of those? But no, no, no. Okay, they are not that stupid. <laughs> the the game designed us, because that was my first inclination. I'm gonna assume that we need, yeah, we needed the mind ward. So I'm just buying his two mind ward. Uh, how are we doing on healing cells? Mm, plenty, plenty. All right. Nothing else. No. Okay. I don't want to do that freaking bandit quest or bandit hideout. Now I'm thinking maybe I should do that off camera, but uh, that's not, I mean, I want to record everything and then I say that, but I've already messed that up. But no, 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 I, I've, if I do it, I will do it on camera, of course, and you guys can always choose to skip an episode if you, if I'm doing something you're not interested in. Let's buy another smoked ham. Oh, we sell the wine. I'll sell one elven ice wine and keep the other, I think. Go to the tavern chest. And then, once again, before we end here, I want to say I'm sorry for that whole mishap in the middle. But other than that, I want to say thank you guys, as always, for watching. I feel like I'm forgetting something in here. Uh, something that I, I needed to talk about, or do, or something. Uh, but I'm not sure. I don't know where we are going with that boar head, but uh, maybe I'll... I saw someone had a video up on that, so maybe I'll go and check that one out so I get that down. And then thank you guys for watching. See you next time, and bye-bye.